Okay, the weather forecast and the current weather is truly shocking. Just rain, rain, rain. And I spent a bit of time this morning deliberating on whether to duck out, get the bus to Idria, but decided to just go for it. Keep walking. I've been listening to um, audio book during this trip in the evenings called Endurance. And it's about Ernest Shackleton's famous attempt to cross Antarctica. And it all goes wrong. And they're basically living on the ice for months. And I thought, you know, they couldn't give up. Maybe I should take a leaf out of their book and just endure and proceed. So that's what I'm going to do. That being said, there are some escape points if the weather gets really bad. So I'm just going to keep those on my radar. But just keep moving, keep moving, keep plodding along. And uh, in a day or two, the weather should hopefully turn around. But it is almost pointless because there's no views and it should be really beautiful here. But you play with the hand you dealt with, right? Or you play with the hand you're dealt. So we move. <sighs> I found a sort of military pillbox thing. Um, taking shelter for a few minutes before I continue. Yeah, it's so misty and rainy. It's really, really bad. Oh well. There's probably not going to be much video because it's, it's just grey, nothing to video. It's been thunder and lightning for the last hour or so, but I've stopped at this spot to get the stamp. It's an abandoned uh, war hospital, I think, down there, which apparently got washed away, so maybe it won't be there. There was a boat building like a, there's a water, well, a river coming down the valley and they were literally building a wall to stop it flooding because they think it's going to flood and it like goes over their property. So it's a bit of, a bit of freak weather, um, but it seems to be lighting up a little bit. So I'm just going to press on to the next hut. Um, I'm already soaking. So like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get more wet. So the hut's closed until four. So I've just been sat outside and some bloke just came with his dog and told me that the road between where the hut manager lives and the hut is blocked because of a landslide. And actually the Alpine Association of Slovenia have issued a warning basically telling everybody to get out of the hills and the mountains because of landslides. Apparently there's been a month's worth of rain in 24 hours, which I believe so the, I rang the hut manager and he's going to try and get someone to let me in for tonight. But the forecast's bad for the next few days, so I think tomorrow I'm going to get up and just head to a bus stop and try and get a bus to Idria, which is the next, which is where I'd end up anyway at the end of t tomorrow. Because um, it's just not really that safe. There was one point early today actually where I was walking along next to this but it's probably a stream coming down this canyon. It was so full. And I thought to myself, like, it doesn't look like it's supposed to be that full. And the path was going along right next to it. Like, it, it wouldn't have had to rise much more to take the path away. So, um, yeah, hopefully I can get in here tonight. If not, there are buses from somewhere that's about two hours walk away. So I'll just have to get down there. Maybe I'll ring the bus company and just make sure the buses are running before I do that. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that I can stay here tonight um, and then start fresh tomorrow.